Thanks. A group of education researchers have unveiled the state's first guidelines for using artificial intelligence in the classroom. It was put out by the Arizona Institute for Education and the Economy at NAU. 12 News journalist William Pitts was there, and some of the recommendations might surprise you. Do you want your kids using AI in schools? After all, it can solve math problems, summarize anything, write entire essays all on its own. So do you really want that? Give me the green light and then we'll take off and we're excited today to reveal uh, Arizona's first official guidance. These researchers say yes, with some safeguards. A team from Northern Arizona University unveiled the first statewide guidance for artificial intelligence in the classroom. And we think there are scary realities if we don't get AI right. But these guidelines may not be what you're expecting. It's not banning AI altogether. We want to move past the conversation of cheating. We can't put our heads in the sand uh, and, and not think about what AI means for education in the future. We have to tackle this issue now. Because apart from being a tool for students and teachers to use, AI is the future, like it or not. And students should have AI skills early. It's going to become more and more a part of the fabric and the foundation of society and of the workforce. And we have to do all we can to prepare our students for that. Here are the basic guidelines. First, schools should have a group that's at least looking at AI, like a steering committee. Second, experiment and unblock AI services but figure out which ones you want kids and teachers to have access to. And third, review everything. AI changes a lot. Guidelines should change with them. Because the technology is always changing, it's really about teaching the framework and how to use it with care. The Alafria Union High School District has an AI group of its own. Now the group is trying to pass on its playbook to other schools. Because no one is an expert in any of this, and so we just want to share, and if it helps other districts, again, move the needle to how they can help their students be AI literate, and that's the goal. These are just guidelines, not rules, not laws. They're meant to give school districts a place to start for a technology that's growing fast. William Pitts, 12 News.